All right guys, today we are doing a quick first impressions review of the new iPhone Pro 11 Max. Some of you may know that for the past few months we have been using a Samsung 5G and a Galaxy S10 Plus. So the clip you just saw was filmed with the new iPhone and this clip here is filmed with the Samsung 5G. So thank you to Apple and Samsung for giving us the opportunity to try and test both of these phones and their incredible cameras. It's amazing because with smartphones in 2019, it completely eradicates the need for our Canon G7X or any DSLR camera because you've got this professional camera, phone and internet in one package. So we've got the new iPhone here. It feels nice in the hand. Uh, it's good to see that Apple are now embracing the whole edge screen and it scrolls very nicely. It seems like they have improved on their screen sensitivity and it's very smooth for multitasking in between apps which is really important when you've got multiple social media platforms. Now, one thing that I don't like about the design is the camera setup. It triggers my trypophobia, which is an aversion to small holes and clusters of bumps. I think they could have done a lot better with this design. What do you think? And here is the 5G camera. I think it looks more sleek and sexy and just overall a better setup. It just looks more modern and cleaner, crisper, sharper. So this is another clip filmed with the iPhone. It picks up colors really well. There are no filters on any of these clips. That is a very vibrant green. And here is the front camera of the Samsung 5G inside a phone store. Obviously the lighting isn't the best, but the video is still very good quality. I have to say the Galaxy S10 Plus and 5G front cameras are the best that I have used. I do prefer them to the iPhone and I don't think that will be changing anytime soon. Here is another clip with the iPhone and we are testing the focus between the great and the rainbow lorikeet that we rescued from the side of the road. It's a baby and it wasn't able to fly. We are just feeding it up and bringing it back to strength. So there is my quick first impressions. Which one do you use? Are you team Apple or team Samsung? I was loyal to Apple since the iPhone 4S, which I got in, when was it? 2012, I think. But after using the Samsung, I am converted for a lot more reasons than just the camera. I find Android allows their users more freedom with their phones and they can customize it to how they want it. Whereas Apple wants to tie you down to their system and only use what they have to offer. So give this video a thumbs up and let me know your thoughts and comments down below. See ya.